Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create the cinematic trailer title, create a new composition. Name it as title 1. For this composition, I will set time duration to 4 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as background. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the background layer. Set the start and end color as shown. Set ramp shape to radial ramp. Now adjust the start and end ramp position. Perfect. Now let's add our text. Here I am using Montserrat font family, here I will set font style to, semi bold. Now for paragraph, set text to center. Now align the text to center. Let's increase the tracking amount for the text, set it according to the text. Now let's animate the text layer. Let's enable per character 3D for this text layer. For text layer, in animate, select opacity, set opacity to, 0%. Now in range selector, make sure you are at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for offset, set offset to, minus 100%. Now go at 2 seconds, change offset to, 100%. Now in advanced, change shape to, ramp up. You can see the preview. Now for this animator, from add, select property, rotation. Set Y rotation to, 90 degrees. You can see the preview. Now let's add property, blur. Set blur to, 20. Now let's add, property, fill, RGB. Here you can set the color for the text layer. You can see the preview. Here our main text is ready. Now let's pre-compose this layer. Name it as text1. Change it to 3D. Now let's create a new camera. Create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position. At start of the timeline, create position keyframe. Go at end of the timeline. Change position value to, 500. Now from project panel, add the light media file to the timeline. For light, let's change the mode to, screen. Now let's add the smoke media file. For this smoke media file, let's adjust the rotation. Place it as shown. 
set rotation to near about 45 degrees. At start of the timeline, create rotation keyframe. Now at end of the timeline, set rotation to near about 60 degrees. For smoke, let's change mode to add. Or you can also set it to screen. You can see the preview. Let's set opacity to 65%. Perfect, now let's add the light to media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. For light 2, press T to bring up opacity, now at 10 frames, create keyframe for opacity, at start, change opacity to, 0%. Place this at 20 frames. Perfect. Here our first title is created, now let's see how to create multiple titles. Here we will create 3 duplicates of this text 1 composition. Now open text compositions. Let's change the text for all the three compositions. Perfect. Now let's create three duplicates of this Title 1 composition. Open Title 2, 3 and 4. Here we will replace this text composition, with the text composition which we have just created. Select the Text 2 composition, while pressing Alt key, drag the Text 2 composition over Text 1 composition. This will replace text 1 composition with text 2 composition. We will do the same for title 3 and title 4. For title 3, replace text 1 with text 3. For title 4, replace text 1 with text 4. Perfect. Here our titles are ready. Now let's see how to bring them in single composition. Create a new composition. Name it as trailer. Here I will set time duration to 16 seconds for 4 titles. You can increase or decrease duration depending on numbers of titles you have created. Now let's add the created titles to the timeline. Now let's sequence the layer, go to keyframe assistant, Select Sequence Layer. Here you can see the titles are arranged. Now let's color grade this trailer. Create a new adjustment layer. In Effects and Preset. Search for Unsharp Mask. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount to 25. In Effects and Preset. Now search for noise. Add noise to adjustment layer, set amount of noise to 3%. Now again create adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves for blue as shown. Perfect. Now again create adjustment layer. Add curves to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Let's add the cinematic frame. Create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure fill color is set to black. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask, let's change shape path. Set unit to percent of source. Top to 10%, bottom to 90%. 
select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here you can add the footage between the titles to create a complete cinematic trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.